hey guys, welcome to another video. I figured since the internet's out and I have an important place to be in about 15 minutes, now would be a perfect time to do a video. So today I'm going to be highlighting the startup directory and a file I wrote for it that will back up a certain file on my hard disk to another directory. So anyways, to navigate to your startup file, what you want to do is you want to bring up your start menu, hit all programs, and then you can navigate to it by hitting startup and you can open it up from here. Now you can technically navigate to it as well out of a command prompt, but let's see if I can't pull the path off on the first try. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I'll just edit the address so I can see. Alright, so if you wanted to navigate to this through a command prompt, god, good luck. Um, I'll clear all the way back so you can see where you'd start from. You go cd users, cd raptor, which would be your username, cd app data, cd roaming, let me check that real quick. CD Microsoft, CD Windows, CD Startup, I think. S maybe Start Menu. Ah, uh -huh. CD Startup right here. Nope. Let me see what the next one is. Oh, Programs. CD Programs, and then CD Startup. And this would be how you'd uh, navigate to your startup directory, which, as you can see, I've got four files in there. One starts up my Dropbox, another one is a Task Manager startup, another one starts up my Ping, and another one starts up my backup file. So um, this directory can contain shortcuts or batch files. I've seen batch files on other computers as well, but um, it can contain both. So I have a shortcut to my task manager, a shortcut to a batch file, but this could just be a raw batch file, something that starts up my Dropbox, and a batch file. So um, I guess I'll dive right into my batch file, and I'll show you what's going on here. All right. so. If you've inspected this file for a second or two, you've realized something, and that's it. There isn't enough CD in here to get all the way back to the Windows directory, and you don't even have to. Well, what happens is, for some apparent reason, when this startup file runs, it does not run out of this directory. Oh, no, no. It runs out of the Windows, or rather, the System32 directory, which is... Do, 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 do. Right, we go to CD Windows and CD uh, System32. It runs out of this directory. Now, I don't, I don't know why. So you'd have to go CD twice to get back to the main one, and then go Users, your username. Uh, you can navigate to it from there, because it's right outside. Um, go to the exact folder I want, and then do all my stuff. I'm just going to list it real quick. Yeah, there's nothing in there right now. So in particular, the purpose of this is to back up a file that will, um, a file that stores all my stuff on my DOS virtual machine. There we go. So it's got the header. That goes on because I wanted to see where it was starting from, but at this point you could turn it off because I think this will run properly. CD user, CD Raptor. Now, if you wanted to um, run this on another machine and your username wasn't Raptor, then you might have to use an environment variable. And let me see if there's one that would be useful for you in here. Do, 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 do. Uh, just navigate to uh, the. Uh, just navigate to the Raptor, or the rather the individual user. Come on, there's gotta be something here for it. I should have checked home path, yep. If you were running this on a um a foreign machine, instead of typing in all these CDs you could hit do um all right, let me just let me just get all the way back. You could type percent home path percent and what should happen is it should navigate you there, but it's trying to let me work this out real quick and I'll get back to you on exactly how to do it. Alright, welcome back. I figured out what it was. Alright, so you can move multiple directories at once if you have the full path, and that's what home path is used for. So this test actually doesn't work, so I'll show you exactly how you need to edit it. So basically, I went all the way back, and from here I'd need to do CDC home path. Now, upon run, this should navigate us straight to our um, home path. And then it should go to the battery and launch a command or a batch file, which isn't open right now. See, no batch files are open. So uh, let's go ahead and save it and run it. Save. And let's run it. Let's see what happens. All right. So it went to the directory, and it tried to open the file, and the file told it to go screw itself. So I don't understand. It ran perfectly fine, and then it just didn't open the file. I don't understand. Was the file name maybe typed in correctly? Let me check. Pull this over here. No, there it is right there. 
Oh, it's because that is actually canceling out because I'm disconnected from the internet. Oh, really? This is trash. One second. How about now? There we go, yep. So it launched the file properly, and then it launched into our file, okay. So that's how you use the home path variable. So if you need to run this on any given machine that was running Windows 7 or any Windows with that home path variable, instead of doing this CD nonsense, you'd CD to the main, so you'd get yourself back to nothing. And I'm not sure if there's a faster way to do it than just doing this over and over again. If there is, I'd love for somebody to tell me, because that'd be cool. And then instead of doing this twice, what you do is you do CD, C, home path. and it should get you straight to the home path. And then you'll go from there to wherever you need to be. Um, this file also takes use of a conditional. So I said, if this exists, then call this. And if it doesn't, then call this. Now the reason I called these is because they had a um, save. It's because they had a nice piece of artwork on it, basically. See, if it fails, then it'll say, file backup failed, check for more information. If it succeeds, then it'll say it backs up. But either way, it should work. Now, if I try and run this, I think it's not going to run out of the same directory. Let's watch. No, it did run out of the same directory. It did everything properly. The CD home path worked perfectly. And it is copying the file right now, which I don't want it to do, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, and I'm going to go back and delete it real quick. CD my DOS backup. Uh, I'm just going to delete... I got it. So there you go. That's a quick display of the startup function or the startup folder and my backup file that I've written. There are probably ways to optimize this code more than what I've done. It's pretty basic, but it does its job well. Now note that this will take a long time because the file I'm trying to back up, I'm going to just navigate with another command prompt because that one's busy right now. The file I'm trying to back up is not that small. So um, I'll navigate to it, just cd dos dm, and we do a directory listing and we can see that the files in here take up 11, oh, one second, 11 billion 527 million 993 988 bytes. So since I don't want to convert that, we'll just go to computer and it'll probably tell us it in a much more efficient form, if, unless I navigate to the wrong drive. Let's go to the proper drive, let's take a look properties. As you can see, it's 10.7 gigs about. So yeah, that's why it takes so long. It's not a small file. And the problem is that I might have given too much room to this virtual disk, and I don't want to reformat or repartition it because there's a lot of stuff on there, and there's no room left to partition another drive, so yeah. Which wouldn't fix the problem of the fact that the drive is gigantic anyway. See. If I open up into my DOS virtual machine right now, what you should see is a um, an almost empty DOS virtual machine. Like there'd be so much room on there. Actually, let's see if I can list it for you guys. Yeah, boot from the hard disk. Oh, come on. So it tells us we have five files on here taking up a 114,000 bytes. Now it tells us we have. 10,832 megabytes free. Now, I'm going to go ahead and convert that because I'm lazy. And let's see how truthful they are being. I'll bring up. There we go. Oh, wait. I can't look it up. The internet's down. Well, darn it. I've got to do this. Actually, let's make sure the internet's down before I quit. Curse me. All right. So, I don't, I'm no mathematician, but... 10,832 megabytes is a lot. It's probably a very, very large amount of what we have. These files don't make up everything, but if we did, um, I wonder how we can. Yeah, these files take up another 49,000, and then there's more directories. I wish we could just get the entire, like, data listing, but I don't know how to do that. I'm looking for this way. Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe you learned something useful. Um, if you have any recommendations or ideas, drop them in the comments.
all the spawns, and uh, have a nice day.